السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How are you, brothers and sisters? Again today, uh, special uh, talk, one after الجمعة and also one at night. Uh, I know usually I have حلقة this time or يعني from 8 to 9:30 uh, talking about the prayer. Uh, but إن شاء الله we'll postpone this حلقة to next week. Uh, there is a very important uh, topic the يعني, the Muslims I mean especially the girls should know this that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said لا نكاح إلا بولي there is no valid uh, marriage without a wali without a guardian uh, it means that the guardian or the wali uh, mainly is the father Okay, if the father is there, he should uh, marry his do- his daughter to the uh, to the other man to, to the other man the husband. Why I'm saying this because sometimes uh, the girl wants to marry a man, and uh, the father it doesn't allow or doesn't agree with this marriage, then this daughter goes to uh, with the the man. that she wants to marry uh, they go to uh, the court and they marry there in the in the court and maybe this is more obvious in the non-muslim uh, countries first of all the the women should know that they have to follow the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it doesn't mean that it is available for them to ma- to get married in the court that it is allowed for them to do this We should follow the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want your marriage to be uh, Islamic, accepted, blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to follow the sharia. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, any woman get uh, married without wali, without guardian, then her marriage is invalid. Her marriage is invalid. Her marriage is invalid. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam emphasized this more than one time. Tayyib, uh, what the women can do if the father is a difficult man has uh, strange uh, conditions or very difficult conditions his conditions don't go with the sharia uh, should this daughter accept the way of her father and to stay without a husband and her age is 25 30 35 Or she can do something. Of course, she can do something. Uh, she can go to the court and she can, um, or, or sorry, yani before going to the court, she, she can solve this problem friendly with the, the father. She can give a nasiha to the father. She can advise the father. If this did not work, uh, she, she, uh, the daughter can speak to the uncle or uh, maybe to her mother, to her brother. Then they can uh, tell the father that this is not allowed. In Sharia, طيب, if a man, a pious man, a good man with good manners, came to, uh, comes to marry your daughter, okay, then you have to accept. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Attack him and turn down the and the If the one who is uh, with a good religion, a good good manners, okay, you have to accept. If you don't accept, then a big mischief will happen in the in the earth. طيب uh, if this did, uh, did not work you advise the father and the father خلاص he made his mind I will not uh, accept good men are coming to marry this daughter and the father is not accepting and her age is 25, 26, 20, 30 like this she, she can go to the a court And she can put a complaint against the father. And of course, this is very difficult. And many sisters will not accept this. Even if the father is bad, if the father is oppressor. But of course, they don't, uh, they don't accept to put a case against the father. It's up to them. Okay, it's up to you. If you like to be patient or to put a case against your father. Okay, you can go to the, fa- to the court and you complain. That... My father is not allowing, uh, he is preventing my marriage. 
طيب then the judge uh, will bring the father, the father is it really or not because this is the problem sometimes sometimes many girls they claim that the father is uh, very difficult he's not allowing me uh, allowing my marriage طيب but how can you prove this yani some sisters maybe they call or they ask can i go and marry because my father is preventing me okay where is where, where is the proof where is the proof okay the the court should you should i mean this girl should prove this to the court that my father is preventing my marriage طيب the father should call the uh, sorry the judge should call the father is it true that you are preventing the marriage of your daughter okay maybe you say no I will accept if a man comes I will accept if he said yes I refused maybe three four men because the first one uh, has this problem the second the third so he has an issue to refuse then the judge will agree with him but if there is no point of, of view from the father's side then the judge can force the father you have to marry to accept the marriage of your daughter to this man because this is haram if he did not accept khalas the guardian the father will not be the guardian for his daughter it will be shifted to the grandfather for example if the grandfather is not there if this woman has a son or a grandson if there is no son or grandson it will go to the uh, the brother yeah there there is an order <coughs> sorry if there is no guardian for this woman maybe she's a new muslim and the all uh, the the father the, the the brothers and the uncles all the non muslims she's in a non muslim country then the uh, or she's in a muslim country then the judge will be her guide guardian as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said fa sultan wali man la wali lah and some scholars said this is a, uh, this is authentic hadith a sultan is wali man la wali lah the sultan means the emir the leader of the country is the guardian for those who don't have guardians طيب so uh, uh, of course here the sultan it means the leader of the country or those who are in, in charge yani it means yani for example nowadays in Kuwait the, the court the judge in the court طيب so uh, the judge will be the guardian of this woman and the the husband should go to there and the guardian uh, sorry the judge will work as a guardian for this daughter for this girl so uh, here the important point i like to emphasize please my sisters please my daughters don't do marriage without the permission of your father if he is difficult if he is putting many uh, yani uh, conditions illogic conditions not sharia conditions you can discuss him or your brother your uncle can discuss him if it is uh, يعني, if you if, 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 if you try tried many ways to solve the problem peacefully friendly then, and it did not work then you can go to the court but don't go to the man and you marry yourself to the man this is not allowed in sharia this is not allowed in sharia i know this is a very sensitive uh, issue and even the scholars uh, yeah, some scholars mention if a woman did this without the wali the marriage is invalid and she has to renew they they have they have to renew the marriage they have to uh, renew the marriage okay uh, maybe some of them don't know okay um, because of ignorance maybe she she is a new muslim he is a new muslim but uh, sometimes they know uh, maybe uh, after years they have children طيب of course the children are uh, they, uh, the children belong to you to uh, this uh, spouses okay but we tell them you should renew the marriage by the uh, wali by the guardian the father or if the father is not there the grandfather the son the grandson the brother if they are not there you can go to the uh, you should go to the court to the court and of course in the non muslim countries if there is no islamic court you can go to the if there is islamic center or there is a masjid and there is imam of the masjid yani they know their uh, issues uh, thank you brothers and sisters may allah bless you 
and uh, yani then this is uh, the importance of knowledge the importance of knowledge knowledge will save your lives brothers and sisters jazakumullah khair assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh